my dear friends today we are going to discuss about algebraic identities so basically you know these two identities which is a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square so a plus b whole square gives a square plus 2ab plus b square and a minus b whole square gives a square minus 2ab plus b square so a third identity which we are going to discuss now is a plus b into a minus b which gives us a square minus b square so this term will be derived from this equation that is a plus b into a minus b when we multiply these two terms into each other that is a into a will give us a square and b into minus b will give us minus b square and plus ab and minus ab will get cancelled so the fourth identity which we are going to see now is x plus a into x plus b which is x square plus a plus b into x plus ab so similarly as third identity which if we multiply these individual terms of this identity we will get x square plus a b plus a plus b into x plus a b so the fifth identity which i am going to see now is a plus b plus c whole square which is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 a b plus 2 b c plus 2 a which is in a cyclic form of a plus b plus c so the next identity which we are going to see is a plus b whole cube which is a cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square plus b cube so here we can see that the power of a get reduces and the power of b get increases or this same expression can be written as a cube plus b, b cube plus 3 ab into a plus b by taking 3 ab as common so the next identity which we are going to discuss is a minus b whole cube which is a cube minus 3 a square b plus 3 ab square minus b cube in this we can see that the positive and negative sign gets alternatively changing first one is minus and second one is plus the third one is minus so similarly if we take my, minus 3 ab common in this expression we can get a cube minus b cube minus 3 ab into a minus b so the eighth expression which we are going to see is a cube plus b cube which is derived from factorization so a cube plus b cube equal to a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square this identity is a very important identity which will be studying higher class next identity which we are going to see is a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square this is also a very important identity which will be studying higher classes so the next identity which we are going to see is a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 a b c which will give us a plus b plus c into a square plus b square plus c square minus a b minus b c minus c a which is also in a cyclic form so the next identity which we are going to say is if a plus b plus c equal to 0 then a cube plus b cube plus c cube will be 3 a b c so if we substitute a plus b plus c equal to 0 in the above expression here so the whole term will become 0 and so that a cube plus b cube plus c cube will become equal to 3 a b c so my dear friends please remember all these identities and keep in your fingertips which will be very useful in your higher classes thank you hi friends i am sure that you understood the algebraic identities and soon we will be discussing about the problems related to algebraic identities and if you love teaching do come and join us and do subscribe and support my channel thank you